Hi guys, so today is going to be a quick update, kind of a haul video, and I guess this and that video. Uh, before we get started, I guess I do need to address my hair, because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments about it. I know a lot of you guys are going to ask what happened to your hair. First of all, I did not cut my hair. The tail is still right here. This kind of reminds me like the little tail sex thing that the avatar does, trying to bond with their animals and their creatures. Hmm, I should try that. Gelato, bond with me. Bond with me. Hey, 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 hey. Don't try to eat it. Here, bond with me. Give me your ears so I can bond with you. It's Avatar this here. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> Gelato bear. Give me your ear. Oh, it's making you itch. Oops. But I also decided to finally dye my hair as well. And the first thing is because that last color that I had, it was really, really hard to upkeep. I had it constantly dye like maybe once every three months. And it was really annoying and the roots would come in. And when it does come in, it's really prominent and you could definitely see it. And on camera, it's even worse. I finally decided to just dye my hair because one, it's darker. And this way when my roots do come in, no one can see it and it's easier for me to grow my hair out. Ow, I just hit myself on the wall. My hair color is actually this burgundy purplish looking cone and I think it's pretty close to it. I don't know why this lighting is making it look so weird, but if you could see it closer, it's like a purple reddish color. It looks better in real life, I don't know. This camera isn't doing me justice. In fact, it's actually making me look kind of emo. Okay, so let's move forward with the haul. So this is like an October birthday kind of... What am I doing with my hands? So I'm going to start off with a few things that I bought yesterday because it's brand new and it's fresh in my mind. The first thing I bought was this little notebook here. You could actually see my camera as a reflection. And I wanted to use it as my portfolio book so I could put all of my dresses and stuff in there. I'm starting to really build a really strong, cohesive portfolio. What I do on YouTube, yes, I am proud of and I am proud that I'm helping other people out. But I'm not proud of it as a designer. Does that make sense? Because everyone has different standpoints in their lives. Yep, this was like $3 and it was at Joann's because Joann's is having a huge like Halloween madness sale right now. So you should go over there and like just check it out because there's a lot of things that you could just pick up even if you're not into crafts and stuff. I mean like papers, notebooks, things like that. But I also picked up a bunch of patterns. I love collecting patterns. But anyways, here are the patterns I bought and they were $0.99 cents each and they're normally $17, $18 a piece. So it's a huge deal for me. Um, I got one with leggings. So I made like three pair of leggings yesterday. I'm a really fast sewer so I could do things like that quickly. I really like it. They have like the striped ones, the lace ones, and these polka dotted like metallic ones. They're pretty awesome. I will show them in like a later video when I do like outfit of the day or something. I don't know. But here's like the boyfriend jacket. And then we have this jacket right here where it has kind of like a tail in the back. And I've always been wanting to know how to make this kind of jacket. You see that's kind of cool. And yeah, there's finally a powder on it, and I think it's good that I learned from a powder. Um, here's another jacket that's really cool. I'm really into jackets. Like, I think that's the one key piece that you should have, a really nice tailored jacket. And then this, the puffy sleeve shirt. Like, I already know how to make this, but I thought it was kind of neat to have a pattern anyways to see how they would do it because sometimes my construction is different from theirs and it's always good to learn different techniques. And then there's this one right here, a really slim fitting dress. And then we have these PJs because I wanted to have really cute PJs. Um, I didn't feel like spending $20 on a set of pajamas at Target. So I was like, you know what, 99 cents, I'm gonna make myself a bunch of PJs. And then here's on how to make a romper. I already know how to make a romper, but having Again, you know, like a pattern to really see how they make it and their technique is always nice. I mean, you're continuously learning in the fashion industry and for anyone who thinks that they're going to stop learning, well, you're a fool. Okay, so anyways, makeup wise, I went to Sephora and they had like a whole birthday thing and they're like, yeah, we're going to give you like a birthday set. And they gave me an eyeliner. It's like a... Um, gunmetal kind of green color and then they gave me the mascara and then they also gave me the white shimmering eyeshadow that I used in my katana video and then I went to my local grocery store they had NYX there and it's pretty cheap too um, this one is the jumble eye pencil I used in my katana video and I also used this black eyeshadow on my katana video 
And then I decided to buy this lip gloss um, in gold pink. I think it's really pretty. I'm wearing it now. Um, you know how I'm doing this whole, I'm gonna buy one thing a month where I don't think about the price at all whatsoever and I'm just gonna buy it and that's the $50. There I go. Well, I finally bought the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Press Powder and I have to say that I love this powder so much and there is probably a reason why it costs $30 because it's really good quality, it stays on all day and it really does absorb all of my face oils as well so um, I'm really happy with it. I don't know if I'm going to purchase again because it is really expensive. Okay so onward with shoesies, I bought these awesome boots right here and they go all the way up to my knee. They pass my knee by about two inches and they're really cool. Um, I got these shoes for $14 and the only reason why is because I had a $35 gift card. A friend gave it to me and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna find use this gift card. It'll kind of be like her birthday gift to me to buy these shoes. For my birthday, my brother also got me something. He got me rain boots and we were trying to explain to my mom what rain boots are. It sounds really cute in English, you know? Rain boots, hey, jumping on puddles. In Vietnamese, when we were trying to explain it to her, they were like fishing boots. So yeah, she's like, why the heck would you buy fishing boots? But they're really cute, so I'm going to show them to you right now because she's probably going to watch this video and she's probably going to think they're cute. But these are my rain boots and it's like a tattoo roses thingy. Um, it came with a note and it basically said happy birthday butt face. So that's my brother for ya. Okay, so anyways, I actually bought this in September but I thought I'll show you guys in this video anyways. I bought this Bernini bag and it was only $3. Isn't it cute? And I got it at the thrift store and it's brand new and it's made out of a 100% real leather because you can smell that leather. And yeah, so there's all these compartments in here. I think it's really pretty. It goes across the shoulder. It's kind of vintage looking. I really like it. And I was so amazed that it was only $3. Yeah, I'm super excited. So anyways, I bought this. It's a chiffon. It has a little bit of textiles on it. Yay, pretty, huh? And then I bought this one. It's like a netting. It's stretchy. It has metallic outlining of the, um, the graphic sets on here. It's just a bunch of flowers. Really pretty. Kind of Indian inspired. Then I bought this one. Purple, black, checkers. Um, pretty color. I'm using this to line a jacket. Now when it comes to buying fabric, uh, when I buy a 45 inch wide fabric, I always buy about 3 yards. Um, if I'm buying a 60 inch wide fabric, I buy about 2.5 yards. It's a good guide because all the patterns will require you to have maybe at least 2 yards of something. So if you're buying fabric and you're just collecting fabric, that's the guide that I would go towards. Another kind of netting, it's stretchy. Um, it's not called netting, it starts with a B, but the word is not coming to me. So someone write a comment down below so I could cure this brain fart. It's really bothering me. And I'm trying to figure out what's the word for this. It starts with a B, and a lot of people make tutus out of them. Anyways, it has polka dots on it. It's shimmery gold, very elegant of a color, I think. And then here's the red one, and polka dot. Really pretty, probably going to make like a skirt or maybe a shirt out of it. But yeah, so that's enough of me showing off my stuff of October. Um, I will see you guys Thursday? Oh yeah, Thursday with a zombie tutorial. Okay, see ya. Bye. July little bear. Come here, sugar. Come here, sugar. Gelato's like over there in the window trying to figure out what's going on.